just did something really weird with my tongue. I don't ever want to do that again. Let's start this over. Hello. Okay, so I'm on my way to, I have to get gas and I need to um, get my prescription because it's ready for me to pick it up. So that's what I'm doing right now. I hate when people don't put their blinker on until they're actually turning. Like you should put your blinker on before you're turning so that way I don't ram into the back of you, okay? Thank you. So that's what I'm doing. I'm leaving my house for the first time and I don't even know how long. And there are trees a blooming. I, I hate getting gas. Like it's like one of those things that I just, I hate to do. I hate getting gas. I don't wanna get gas. It's not something that like I look forward to doing ever. I would rather drive my truck on fumes than put gas in this damn thing. I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but I hate gas. No, I don't hate gas. I hate getting gas. I love the smell of gas though. Yes, I do. I didn't vlog. I did vlog. Well, it wasn't a vlog. I showed a little tiny bit of the painting in my bathroom. I did get a comment and someone was like, these people are throwing you out of, the, out of your place and you're redoing their bathroom. Well, we still have to live here. So until we do have to leave, if we have to leave, I don't want my kids to be bathing in a bathroom where the paint is peeling off and falling down. That makes me nervous. I don't like, I know there's no lead in the paint or anything like that, but still Scarlett sometimes likes to take a bath and I don't want her bathing in bath in I don't want her bathing in paint. So I, I feel like I should like, it's, it's a me thing. I want to fix it for myself. And I'm not going to be, I'm not doing like a full bathroom remodel or anything like that. I'm just literally priming the walls. I sanded down the spots where I needed to sand down and I, um, I primed the walls and no, I scraped the paint off. I sanded the, the parts of the paint that needed to be scraped off. And then I started to prime and I'm doing that not only because I'm I'm doing that not only because I'm I don't want the bathroom to be a mess like that, but I also it's our fault. So like it's our fault that the bathroom got like that because the fan broke and instead of my husband saying to the landlord, hey, the fan broke, like it broke during the time where we got our eviction notice and then we were like kind of in a standstill we didn't know what was happening and now we don't know what's happening till June so like it was just a weird time to be like hey can you fix the fan so he didn't tell them to fix the fan and so the paint started peeling so now I'm fixing it because I want to fix it I'm not making excuses I'm just want to fix the damn bathroom so yeah that's what I'm doing and that's that. that. means I threw some burgers in the oven before I left for dinner for my husband. And oh my God, guys, I don't know if it's because my psoriasis is bad. I, um, what was I saying? Oh, my face. I don't know if it's because my psoriasis is bad or what, but my face is so dry that it's literally peeling. I'm peeling. My face is peeling off. Oh, my face is literally peeling off. Just, it's so dry and there's nothing I can do. I exfoliated the shit out of my face and it's still a freaking dry ass mess. You guys, I'm so excited to get my medicine. Like I am so excited. I'm gonna call my doctors tomorrow and hopefully they'll send me in a refill, but I don't know how this doctor works. Like, do I have to go in for an appointment to get a refill or are they just gonna refill it? If they're gonna make me do an appointment, ugh. I don't want to. The last time I went to an appointment, they were checking my neck. Like they were listening to my heart and she was like, there's swishing in your neck and you need to get a heart ultrasound. And I'm like, I just came in here for a regular checkup. <laughs> like, I don't wanna die. 
I am exhausted. I have like spurts of energy and then, then I feel like crap. So um, I need to turn around, turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit juiced and bunty 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 bunty. I'm glad I got gas. Um, you know what I do love though? I will be honest. I love to drive. Like I freaking love driving. I love it. It's so much fun to me. I wanna, like, I don't mind going on long car rides. Well, I do when my car's broken, but if my car wasn't broken, I would be loving the hell out of taking a long ass drive. Like, I really, really like to drive. It's one of my favorite things to do. I love it. And which is funny because I didn't get my license. Dude, um, you wanna watch where you're going? Cause you're in a parking lot. Um, because I didn't get my license until I was 26 because I was deathly scared to drive. Well, my twin sister tried to teach me how to drive when we were like 19 and I drove into a gas tank. Like I literally drove into the gas, I drove into a gas station, but I drove into the gas pump. That's what it was. I drove into a gas pump. So that scared me and my sister Heidi was killed in a car accident. So that scared me and I was like, I'm never gonna drive again. So then, I, when I went to go get my license, actually Matt bought me driving lessons to learn how to drive because he wasn't going to, he wasn't about to teach me because I was a freaking hot mess. I got driving lessons. And then when I got my, when I did my driver's test, I was, <laughs> I had Dahlia with me. I was a, she was a newborn and I failed the parallel parking. What was this? Oh yeah, so I was doing the parallel parking. I failed the parallel parking, and then when I was done my test, I was crying. I was like, please pass me, I have a newborn. I was like, please pass me, I have a newborn. And he felt bad for me and he passed me. I still can't parallel park to this day. If I was stuck in the city, mm -mm. I would rather just stay in my car and like, I would park outside the city and walk in because I can't park, mm -mm. no way. I could never live in a city. I could never live in a city, guys. I can't park. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, yo, um, because I always put myself in neutral when I'm supposed to be on drive. Anyway, I'm gonna go because I've been talking to you guys for 11 minutes and I'm gonna turn my music on, I'm gonna put my windows down and I'm gonna enjoy the five minute drive to my house in, I was gonna say peace and quiet, but it's not peace and quiet. It's just gonna be an airy, beautiful, musical time. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll record some more tomorrow morning before I put this vlog up, but I wanted to get in a little bit of a blog, a vlog? I wanted to get in a little bit of a vlog before tomorrow because I feel like I'm failing at this vlogging thing. I'm like such a vlog failure. I should be vlogging my days, but there's really nothing going on. It's like vlogging the same shit every single day. Does that say Taco's Energy? Taco's Energy, what the heck is that? Oh wait, it's not Taco's, it's Acos. A-C-O-S. All right, I'm saying Taco's, I'm starving. Okay, I gotta go. I'll see you guys later, bye. Good morning. It is the next day, obviously, because I, I don't know what? Um, it is Tuesday. Both the kids are feeling much better. They're going back to school tomorrow. Super happy about it. The marking period ends on the 12th of April. So I need to get them back in school so they can do all their stuff they have to do so their grades can go in and not be super low. Um, so the bathroom, I finished priming it. I showed you guys, I have little clips. It doesn't look great and it's just because it's primed. It's not a full coverage paint it's not any of that it's just a primed bathroom and the ceiling still needs patching but I'm not very good at that so I may or may not I may or may not do that myself but I probably won't I'll probably just paint over it you know that's how it is so I decided on painting the bathroom a very light sage green so probably like this but a little bit lighter and I ordered a new ordered a new I ordered a new trash can for the bathroom, like a small trash can for the bathroom, and I'm gonna get a new shower curtain, and it's gonna look great. It's gonna look beautiful. I'm not going to paint it until later this week because both of the girls need to need the bathroom tonight and tomorrow morning for school and stuff, so I don't wanna like paint it, and I might wait until this weekend to do that to the bathroom. Um, I'll figure it out, but anyway, 
Hi, Oscar. Hi, good boy. Good morning. What are you doing? What you doing? It is shedding season in my house for all animals. And when I tell you there are like tumbleweeds of hair just flying across my floor every day, that's it. That's what's happening. And I also have hair all over. I always have hair all over my clothes. Right, Oscar? It's all because of you. Oscar, come here. Hi, good boy. It's also time to cut all the bunnies' nails. So baby bunny needs his nails cut. Oscar needs his nails cut. They all need their nails cut. What are you doing, good boy? Hi. Bunny's hair is so unbelievably soft, but the hair that they shed is even softer. It feels like the softest thing you've ever felt in your entire life. Also, chinchilla hair, super soft, super beautiful. Why am I talking about hair? Um, I got my medicine yesterday. I was I vlogged on the way to get my medicine, and I talked to you guys a little bit. So there's that. And then I didn't, I didn't really vlog much yesterday cause I was working on the bathroom all day. So I did like, there's nothing to see when you're in the bathroom. Um, you're just watching me, you're watching me prime and you guys don't want to see like me standing on a ladder, priming the ceiling. Like why, why would you? So I didn't really yeah. vlog anything except for my going to the pharmacy to get my medication and I'm so happy I got it because my skin already feels so much better it doesn't look better but it feels better and that's what's important like I don't really care how my skin looks as long as it doesn't hurt me and when I'm having a flare-up my skin hurts so badly not only well in the middle of the night I'll wake up and I'll be tearing at my legs and I won't even realize it I'll like wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like scratching at my feet and my legs and for some reason those are my itchiest spots at night I don't know why that happens but it does so I'll wake up in the, in the next day and I'll literally have like, my legs will be bleeding. My feet will be bleeding. I've literally ruined my skin on my legs and feet because of that. And I didn't know that I was doing it until I like woke up doing it. I um, apparently scratch at my feet and my legs all night long. So anyway, but my skin feels better and I'm happy about that. I have a ton of laundry to do today because... I don't really know why I have so much laundry to do. I did laundry on Sundays. I don't really know why I have so much laundry to do, but I do. There's a ton of laundry downstairs. So I'm going to do that. I think it's more like all the bunny stuff, like all the bunnies, blankets, and um, all the towels and stuff that I was using when I was painting. So I think that's what is all the laundry, but I have to go check and see. And I think that's it, guys. There's nothing else going on. This vlog is going to be very short because I've literally been in quarantine and there's really not much to talk about when you're in quarantine. Like... There just isn't. And there's nothing to say because nothing's been going on except for like me whining and complaining. I do, hi Scatter, good morning. Come here, peepee -pee head. Come here. Good morning. Hi. Are you a peepee -pee head? Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Do you pee everywhere? Oh, that's a good boy. Hi, good boy. Good morning. Jay, I didn't really clean my house, but I did like, um, I did tidy it up a little bit, but I didn't like clean it, clean it. Um, why am I in my kitchen? I don't remember. Why am I in here? Hold on, let's kick the laundry down the stairs. Just kicking the laundry down the stairs. I do feel so much better today. Honestly, yesterday I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I'm like super sick. Like yesterday was a worse day for me. I felt worse waking up than anything else. But now, and but then as the day went by, I felt better. But um, waking up yesterday, I was like, damn, what is that? I have a glare on my face. Um, like it had to have been like all the paint and stuff that I... It was all the paint and stuff that, like, the dust and all that crap that was in my face that day. It had to have been. Okay. Ooh. Laundry is down. Whoop. Okay. I need to get this blanket because Oscar needs a new blanket. So let's do his blanket first. I love the way laundry smells. It smells so lovely. My husband hung up my little country star. Isn't that cute? He was like, let me make your, 
Let me make it a little bit, bit prettier down here for you. He even put my little bottles up. So every single time I see that star, it does make me feel like, um, what's that star that like you see in like scary movies? That's what it reminds me of, but it's not one of those. It's not a scary star. It's a pretty star. It's a country star. It's not a scary one. Okay. I'm just picking and choosing what to put in the washing machine with the blanket because I don't want it to be too heavy because then it'll be really super loud. You know how that goes like when you put too much in your washing machine and then it's super loud and then it rocks the whole house. I don't want to make it too heavy so I'm just going to put in a few things. Hold on. Sorry. All right so I put in a blanket, some kitchen towels, a pair of my pajama pants, and um, and this like Turkish towel that I got in one of my subscription boxes. I always put that in the baby bunny's um, pen when he goes when he's put away at night because he likes to like scratch at it or something for some reason. He just does, so I give it to him. All right. I need to go through my closet and go through my clothing because I don't wear, I'm gonna make you guys dizzy. I really don't wear much of my clothing in there anymore and it's not gonna fit me because I do not fit in what I fit in three years ago. I am I just don't and it's really depressing. I put on a pair of pajama pants the other day that used to be like super baggy on me and you guys, they were tight. And I was like, oh, my baggiest of all sweatpants are, no, my baggiest of all pajama pants are tight on me. And I was so sad. So I ate a bowl of ice cream. And when I tell you there's a lot of laundry, there's a lot of freaking laundry. I don't even know where it came from. Okay. Dahlia. Dahlia. The marking period ends on April 12th. So sign into your Google Classroom and find out what, what work you're missing and get some done. Okay? Dahlia, do you hear me? Dahlia, do you hear me? Are you gonna do it? Why? It's what? Where is it? Problem solved. Who are you? Who? Who do you hate? This person in this game. You're lucky. I thought you were saying you hated me. <laughs> I don't know why you would say that. That's what I, when I walked in here, you said I hate something so much, and I thought it was me. So I was about to throw the book bag at you. Passwords are always stupid. His code is literally your code. Well, he won't ever forget it. All right, so now that, oh, you guys, I got my Medusa's makeup. I feel so lucky to be on Medusa make, Medusa's makeup PR list. When I tell you I love Medusa's makeup, I freaking love them. And the extra product this month was their eyebrow pencil. And I freaking love that thing so much. I wanted to unbox it for you guys, like literally today, so that I can use the eyebrow pencil. Because you guys, it's so amazing. Like, I love this eyebrow pencil so, so much. But anyway, I'm so, I feel so lucky to be on their PR. I think I told you guys about them before. They're a small makeup company, but they're like... They're a makeup company that does like vivid colors and like colors that you normally wouldn't, like somebody who goes off to, well, they're colors that I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing all the time. You know what I mean? But they still have lovely, beautiful shades of all different stuff. Like their makeup is gorgeous. They came out with new eyebrow pencils a few months ago and they are amazing. Like I love it so much. And they came out with a new eyeliner and it's really good. The thing that I love about Medusa's makeup is 
they don't use like the typical models where like, you know, you see a beautiful model and you're like, oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. She's perfect, perfect skin, perfect eyes, perfect lips, everything perfect. They use normal people as their models. And I love that. When I go onto a makeup company's website, I want to see what the makeup is going to look like on me, not like on somebody perfect, not somebody who's like 20 and like has perfect skin. You know what I mean? Like I want to see what it looks like on a normal person. Not that the models aren't normal, but they're perfect and they make them look perfect they fix their skin or whatever if they have a blemish like that's what models get done when they are modeling you know what I mean like they're made to look perfect Medusa's makeup uses regular people they their influencers are regular people that are just that just love makeup and are using makeup like I found one of my favorite creators I'm gonna I'll put her picture in this part of the video She's on Instagram. I think she's more popular on TikTok, but I do watch her on Instagram. And every week she puts out a, like an iconic drag um, look. Every week she does an iconic drag queen look and she's inspired by somebody. So she does this look and she always like kills it, but she is so beautiful. And she has like the perfect lips. Like she has the most, the prettiest lips. I always tell her and she, I always feel like a freak when I tell her because I feel like I'm like being weird, but her lips are just so cute and she's so pretty and she does like all sorts of different makeup looks. It's not like the typical, like, you know, my typical makeup look. It's not something that I would normally do, but she's beautiful. And like, I found one of my favorite makeup, makeup artists through through Medusa's makeup. Anyway, on Instagram, I'm going to link her. I'll put her picture. Maybe I'll put a little video in here of her. She's stunning and beautiful. I'll tag her too when I put this on Instagram. Um, I just love Medusa's makeup so much. I, I the, um, the owner, she reminds me of like a rock star. That's what she reminds me of. Like one of those, like, she reminds me of like a rocker. Like if you were to go to a rock concert and a woman would walk out of the trailer and she's getting ready to go on a show. That's what she reminds me of. She's beautiful. She's just beautiful. And I just, I love their stuff. I love their lip gloss. They have this beautiful shimmery purple lip gloss, but it's not like a purple, purple, purple. It's just like a hint of purple with a little bit of glitter. It's gorgeous. Love it so much. But their eyebrow pencil is to die for. Like I love the NYX eyebrow pencil. It's what I use all the time. Like NYX eyebrow pencils is what I use, but this one's better. I swear it's better. And I love it so much. And I'm so excited to get a new one. All right, I'm gonna, it's 16 minutes of me talking and doing nothing because that's what I normally do, nothing. Um, I'm gonna make sure my kids sign into their, <laughs> Jenny Lee was like, that is why your Keurig sounds like that. Bottled water only. I'm like, I know, but this thing has a filter. It filters out all the bad stuff, doesn't it? That's why there's a filter in there because there's, it needs a filter. Like why does the Keurig have a filter if you need to use bottled water? I don't get it. I don't understand. Jenny Lee. Um, Scarlett, did you get my text message? What? Okay. Make, Okay, and then go sign into your Google Classroom to see if there's any work you need to do, okay? Did he do Jumping Jack Flash? Was that how fast he was? He ran through here like that? Super fast? Bunny, if you would be sweet to the cats, they would play with you. But you pee on them, and they don't like being peed on. We've had this conversation before. That's why the cats run from you. I really... I really thought that the baby bunny was gonna be huge. By the size of his ears, I was like, he's gonna be a massive bunny. He's still so small and little. Right, Scattered, you do? Okay, I'm gonna make my coffee. I'm gonna sign out. And this is gonna be under my vlog because it is already Tuesday morning and I wanna do a vlog for today, for Wednesday. Cause you know, that's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to vlog like your days. Are there rules to vlogging? I don't think so. You can do whatever you want. I'm making rules for rules that aren't even there. Yes, I painted one finger now. I just wanted to see what the color was. It's pretty. I feel like when I have my one finger done, so that's all the fingers I'm going to show you. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.